protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com While America boils with betrayal by the now naked criminal New World Order establishment, plainly verified by the trouncing Donald Trump whipped on dynastic pawn Jeb Bush and his inability to win even one delegate, the Department of Justice ramps up its mind war to once again sell the notion that domestic extremism far outweighs the threat of radical Muslim extremism. Kurt Nimmo writes, In October, with little fanfare, the Justice Department created a new position to emphasize the threat the government says it faces from so-called domestic extremists. John Carlin, in charge of the Department of Justice's National Security Division, told a seminar on terrorism at George Washington University, the event hosted by the Southern Poverty Law Center, that government and law enforcement now consider individuals and groups opposed to the authority of the state to be the top terrorism concern, a threat he said overshadows Muslim extremism. Carlin added that the Southern Poverty Law Center and other groups in this space are very important. In 2010, InfoWars noted the Department of Homeland Security considers the SPLC to be a de facto division of the federal government. You know, the mask is coming off and they're there, you don't have to get a FOIA request anymore to find out that it turns out the Mac report was written by Southern Poverty Law Center. What they're doing, though, is they're brainwashing them. That's why we have to counter that with our own, like, deprogramming of the brainwashing. They, they want them to believe that, you know, essentially, if you talk like Thomas Jefferson, you must be a terrorist, is, 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 is their bottom line. Having police that aren't brainwashed into supporting the criminal banking takeover, that is a danger to the criminals. So, But the criminals are... Are literally in there, you know, advising the police. In April of 2009, a document produced by the Department of Homeland Security, Right Wing Extremism Current Economic and Political Climate Fueling Resurgence in Radicalization and Recruitment, characterized patriot political groups that reject federal authority in favor of state or local authority or reject government authority entirely as domestic terrorists. Reuters reported that in early February, Justice Department officials asked Congress for a statute to toughen the fight against anti-government extremists. A similar law is currently used to prosecute individuals accused of providing material support for Muslim terrorist groups currently on the State Department's list of international terrorist organizations. The Patriot Act codifies material support as distributing literature, political advocacy, and donating money to groups and individuals the government considers terrorists. An individual does not need to be involved in violence to be prosecuted. Moreover, the government does not need to show that any specific act of terrorism has taken place or is being planned or even that a defendant intended to further terrorism, according to an ACLU white paper. If the government gets its wish and is permitted to use the material support statute against nonviolent constitutionalists, members patriot groups, and those rejecting the authority of the state over the individual, Supporters of Alex Jones and Infowars, characterized by the SPLC as extremists, may eventually be prosecuted as terrorists. There is clearly a hidden agenda to water down patriotic voices with the intent of strengthening the liberal psyop. Take this into account. Paul Joseph Watson writes, As Twitter suspended the account of yet another conservative for the crime of having the wrong politics, an account called Kill Donald Trump that advocates assassinating the Republican frontrunner is still active six months later. Despite representing an obvious violation of Twitter's terms of service, which state that users must not engage in violent threats, direct or indirect, the account Kill Donald Trump has not been suspended. So we have a constant deluge of people openly advocating and in some cases actually saying they will directly plan the assassination of Donald Trump. Twitter does absolutely nothing, but they will censor a conservative journalist for criticizing feminism. They will de-verify a prominent conservative journalist, Milo Yiannopoulos. Again, for what reason, nobody knows. 
Essentially, as the borders remain open and nearly 60% of illegal immigrants identified by the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement as criminal threats are not deported and are eventually released onto the streets of America, the establishment, drunk with power after quietly for all intents and purposes legalizing propaganda in July of 2013, means to saturate the American psyche with a bombardment of social media from psychopathic leftists, federal propaganda, and Muslim extremism, bluntly violating the First Amendment in order to shut down the national conversation in America, criminally struggling to gain a foothold to support a totalitarian culture of fear and control. John Bound for Infowars.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com.